do this again, huh? Welcome back to the Casserole Quarantine Show. This is, of course, your host, Kyle Miller, the executive producer of the Casserole Live broadcast. In today's news, the fourth quarter started last Monday. If students have not checked their student email and gone onto Google Classroom to attend their virtual classes, it is very important they begin this practice immediately. Just a quick reminder, students should actively be checking their student emails, not their personal emails. The District Family and Community Engagement Department wants you to know of a few resources available to families. Please take a moment to check out the Family Resources link in the video description. This hub has a variety of information including food access, local community resources, a Families Matters workshop, and more. Dear Class of 2020, we are sorry to confirm that the sober grad trip has been cancelled. All students who are signed up for this trip will be receiving an email from USA Student Travel regarding your refund. Many seniors are wondering about picking up their cap and gown, and many are wondering about picking up their yearbooks, cleaning out their PE lockers, and picking up anything else they may have left on campus. We want everyone to know that as we near the end of the school year, and once we have been given the approval from the district, we will put a plan in place for students to come onto campus to pick up items in return textbooks and anything else they may have checked out. Keep watching the Weekly Bulletin and the Casa Roble Live broadcast for updates. The pandemic has been difficult for everyone at CASA for both student and staff, and it's been especially difficult for the seniors. Because if you didn't know, the senior trip to Disneyland, the senior prom, and the graduation ceremony have either been postponed or canceled. It hasn't been made entirely clear yet, and that's kind of a bummer. So like, you know, if you have any senior friends, make sure to give words of encouragement and be uh, supportive and sympathetic and stuff because a lot of things that the, that the seniors were looking forward to have kind of been taken away from them. And I hope that the seniors have the best time that they can during this quarantine. So yeah, that's it. <laughs> The Student Educational Video Awards, aka the SIVA. All of our CRL students submitted videos to the Sacramento County competition. Last Sunday was the virtual award ceremony. Over 600 videos from 50 different schools were submitted to the competition. CASA had three groups named as finalists. This is our first year. Three finalists is incredible. The videos were produced by Keone Carrion, Kyle Miller, and Terranui Rael. Keone received an honorable mention for his video, the equivalent of second place. Congratulations, Keone, Kyle, and Taranui. All of our students worked extremely hard on their videos and represented CASA well. Work permits. If any student needs a work permit renewal or a new work permit, please email Mrs. Toffer at Cheryl.Toffer at SanJuan.edu. Mrs. Toffer is watching her email and she will make the necessary arrangements to work with you and to get you your permit. Each Monday at 10 a.m. from the Castle Roble Live YouTube channel, you can view weekly quarantine editions of Castle Roble Live. Feel free to subscribe to the channel so you can receive notifications when you have new content posted. This term, all students should be provided a grade of A, B, credit, or no credit. A grade of credit shall mean the student had an equivalent of a D minus or better. As of April 17th, according to the teacher's grading policies, no student shall be provided a citizenship grade. Thanks for watching this episode of the Castle Roble Quarantine Show, and now for some more videos. Okay, Simon says that I need inspirational video, but I have a better idea. The tomato history has origins traced back to the early Aztecs. Therefore, it's believed that the tomato is native to the Americas. It was not until around the 16th century that Europeans were introduced to this fruit when the early explorers set sail to discover new lands. Throughout southern Europe, the tomato was quickly accepted into the kitchen. Yet, as it moved north, more resistance was apparent. The British, for example, admired the tomato for its beauty, but believed that it was poisonous, as its appearance was similar to that of the wolf peach. Many Italian Americans ate tomatoes and brought that food with them, but also and perhaps equally as important was the invention of pizza. But take it seriously, without tomatoes we would not survive. Imagine salads, imagine pizza, imagine burgers without tomatoes. 
impossible, right? So, are you still wanna ask me what inspires me? Tomato. Hello everybody and welcome back to K. Miller Films. Now I have a little bit of a different episode for you guys today. Today I will be making a fully functional campground within my backyard. Now we are under the quarantine right now, which means we don't get to go outdoors as much and see the wildlife and nature. But some of us are well off enough to have a backyard, which is a small piece of that natural institution that we want to be a part of, or not really an institute. I, I don't know what I'm saying. But I greatly look forward to having this wonderful outdoors experience, and I implore you to do the same. All right, fellas, so this is the ye old plot of land it's nothing special, but I think it'll do nicely. Um, and of course, we have our companion for this journey in particular. He needs his fiber. Also, I forgot to mention, I have a little bit of a surprise for you guys, so make sure you stay tuned for that. Or don't, you know. Okay. I think that's all the camping stuff I could find. I found three tents, amazingly, which is pretty nice. I didn't... I, I didn't know we still had some of the old ones. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna set up three, definitely two. Or should I set up three? Anyways, I think it's time for construction. Check this. Alright, so I have two tents set up. Nice and quiet out here, right? This one is very large. Um, we've only been in it a couple times, actually. This one is not so big, and it's about a decade old, but a clean and nice interior, right? Alright, let me show you the inside of this one. So we have this almost like a balcony here, which I really love. It's probably my favorite part about it. Then this a large interior space with a big window. I enjoy this one very much. I'm sleeping in this one for sure. Tent number three. All right, thanks to a little help from my little brother, I have successfully placed the third tent right here. So now, this one I think you're going to use as a, um, a bathroom? I don't know, because we're only going to be legitimately sleeping in this one. Um, this one's going to be a kitchen or like a dining area. I think either this one's going to be a bathroom or a gaming area for epic gaming. Hmm. All right, it is time for the reveal. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the K. Miller campsite. All right, let's take a look. So, of course, here we have our campfire to roast um, marshmallows and hot dogs, as you might do. Um, and, of course, we have our home here, our cozy, wonderful home. This is a nice and large tent, and as you can see, it has what I earlier described as a balcony sort of view. And there's my uke. Inside are wonderful sleeping grounds. That is where I will be sleeping. 
that is where uh, W. Miller Films, yeah, will be sleeping. Um, and of course we have some nice lights in here. Of course I put paintings in both of these tents here. Let's check out the dining room area. We have another picture and uh, a table with a nice tablecloth. This tablecloth is actually a uh, rainproof uh, cover for that tent over there. And a chair, we're gonna put another chair in here so we can eat and some food as well. Now, this one was originally going to be a restroom, but it has now evolved into a home theater, yes. We're going to be placing a screen there, as well as the chairs here to watch our favorite films under the night sky. I think it's pretty dope. Now, here's a epic reveal for you. Um, not only does this have most of the outdoors attributes of a campsite, but it also has some of the luxurious elements of an actual campsite, and that would be in this hot tub right here that just finished making that weird jet sound. Um, and it's going to be wonderful. We're going to have some more lights around here um, in the night because obviously it's a little too stuffy right now, but when that time comes, it's going to be a jam for sure. Of course, all of these three tents are connected in a sort of community, um, just like a campsite might be. Thanks for watching this episode of the Castle Robley Quarantine Show. If you'd like to see more videos on the Castle Robley Live YouTube channel, check out one of those boxes right there or over there. Ooh, they look so fun and interesting. Be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications. Or don't, you know. Nobody's forcing you to do anything.